get to interview and bond with my very, very guapo and very, very talented nephew, Ray Fernandez. Everyone has a capability to be an actor, but like professional actors don't really yung like we have to dissect like psychologists what it is to act a certain way. Why do we do that? What's what's our um, imagination like when we're doing a certain thing? Welcome again to the Mabuhay Studios YouTube channel. And as mentioned before, here we now have three playlists. We have the Wonder Mamas, the Mare Mare Club, and of course, Wandering Pinoy at Dadami Payan. But today is a special day because my co host is not Rufa May Pinto. No, is not Mafe Yunon Velasco. It is no other than. The famous. <laughs> the Hazel! Famous. The famous Hazel! Nila, Sino si Hazel? <laughs> Naglalakad lang po ako sa labas. Tapos, <laughs> tinawag ko po siya. Tinawag niya po, na-catch po yung attention. Oh, Maka-host ka nga. I love all the colors happening there. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. The beautiful Hazel. And syempre, napaka-exciting today. Kasi, I'm so happy we get to interview and bond with my very, very guapo and very, very talented nephew, Gray Fernandez. Well, thank you guys for having me. Yes. Thank you Salamat for po. making Thank you. time. Thank you. And I'm so happy because we're here together, right? Here in the US true. of A. Yeah. yeah. Let Who them know thought? when did you get here. I got here September of 2022. Sa ano naman po ako sa New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go to specifically to do what? Really? Yeah, I go to school in uh, Stella okay. Adler Studio of Acting right. in um, Wall Street in Manhattan. At uh, yeah, I love it. I've I've been loving it mm -hmm. since I uh, moved. Tapos sabi ko kay Tita LJ na mm -hmm. like nakuha ko ni yung independence ko of like learning how to you know do things on, do your, on, own. on your own tapos mm -hmm. wala ka ng um, like helpers just like yourself and yeah. you're just like oh, alone yes. by yourself and yeah. just getting your true potential talaga like what do you ha what are you made of mm -hmm. yeah that's what the the state teaches mm -hmm. you right? yeah mm -hmm. like I, I told him earlier here in the U.S., I've found super powers that I did not know I had. Agree. I, I can agree to that. Yeah. Ano natin. Mm -hmm. Kaya nakakatawa. Because before, he's, ano, lagi niya kasama mami niya. Yeah. Hey, Mel. Yeah. Hi, Mel. Yeah. Hi, Mel. Hi, I miss yeah. you. Yep, we miss you. And now, he's mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. independent. Yes. And you mentioned you turned 21. 21 in New York. Yeah. 21 in New York. Mm -hmm. How awesome. How was that? Know. How was that, Jay? Tell us about it that. It was nice. I just went up to um, a rooftop bar with friends. Mm -hmm. I was actually yung, um, my tita Alice Soriano, okay. like, uh, who like helped me find my place, mm -hmm. my, my um, apartment, apartment in New York. Okay. She yung, uh, kasama ko and other friends okay. from school as well. And yeah, you guys in Asabi natin like Filipino yeah, love yeah, talaga. Yes. Like we're all just That's like what we're proud of as a culture. Communal oh, tapos yeah, like um, just like a um relative of my mom, yeah. si Tita Alice, she's mm -hmm. super nice. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and again, just like meeting new people, meeting new classmates from all around the world. Mm -hmm. My classmates are like from Italy, from Poland, mm -hmm. from from Portugal, from all around the wow. world. And just like having stories of like yeah hearing all these stories of like yeah. oh it's different from the philippines na iba iba talaga like yung no culture, culture natin yes. mindsets mm -hmm. and you learn from every single individual yeah, that's true very mm -hmm. diverse yeah, very diverse mm -hmm. and it's just yeah. like like with what you're doing you know it really opens your eyes yeah mm -hmm. it's like what's out there mm -hmm. right because i mean of course we love philippine cinema mm -hmm. we love what we do in the philippines mm -hmm. but Shepard, there's mm -hmm. a lot more out yeah. in yes. the world so Definitely. what you, made you decide mm -hmm. to come what do you um, really decide to go out of your comfort zone? Like you oh, were yeah. already doing well, mm -hmm. yeah, career-wise in the Philippines, and yet you decided to fly to New York. To yeah, so um, actually, nag nakapasok din ako sa um, college in in and what in in New York mm -hmm. for wow. economics, the man. Pero like na na nakisabay siya with 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 Stella Adler, which is a theater and acting school. So mm -hmm. like. I was about to do that, you know, like a like a college degree of like economics, but like sabi ko like. I still like it's what what's in my soul that I need mm -hmm. to express, and that's still the creative mm -hmm. style of acting yeah. and just like storytelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love movies. I love these stories. I love humanity. Yeah, yeah. And yun talaga yung for me in, in my path na parang mm -hmm. ko like this is my journey mm -hmm. as a individual. This is my journey as a human being. Na parang mm -hmm. I want to tell stories mm -hmm. and, yeah. and whatever Not just form. Act, right? Yeah, yeah. Not just yeah, right. Yeah. But the approach is curious is, is going to stories 
telling mm. something you decided for yourself or you think it's somehow fashioned by you mm. being a Fernandez? I think yung uh, parang like I so because uh, sa so inyo where it's like there was a play that I read mm-hmm. for school it's called Bad Jews Bad Jew. mm-hmm. and it's all about this Jew these Jewish kids who grew up in the upper east side of New York and they're privileged mm-hmm. parang like ilang yung world na alam nila na hindi sila naka labas ng comfort zone nila so by the first part of the story parang they're rejecting their heritage mm-hmm. rejecting and they're not respecting kung saan sila nang galing okay. but by the end of the play they get to know who they their culture and their roots are and they just like love it and embrace it and it's now become mm-hmm. part of them which okay. it was always a part of them so na you parang, see a fire in this yeah, yeah. Like parang that. ako na like i had to research about my family mm-hmm. and my you know all, yes. all of our yeah. you know family tree and our roots yes. and why we are who we are and i was researching so si Tita Rap Tita mm-hmm. Rap Fernandez ko he gave me Lolo the boys like biography oh nice bago ko lumipad like he gave it to me oh, um awesome. to New York so i read it don't ko pala nang reach up just for time and for research for yeah. the for the play na parang like oh dito pala nang galing si si Lolo the boy and i think journey niya with um great grandpa Gregorio Fernandez na like mm-hmm. he was crowned as was like crowned the film know. master of Ooh, Asia Asia's, oh, wow. Asia's great greatest ah, ah, director yeah. 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 I only learned about that through Ray, yeah. so wow. I had to look him up. Mm-hmm. Look him up. So, yeah. so you mm-hmm. do, you're not only like mm-hmm. you guys. You're not just the third generation. You're actually like the fifth generation mm-hmm. already. Fifth generation. And I love so. that you're doing all this mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Lang, like, okay, well, I'm in a family of actors, mm-hmm. so I'm just gonna do it. But mm-hmm. you're really yeah. like going back to yeah. the roots. Uh-oh. That's yeah. so awesome. Uh-oh. Yeah, he was yeah. like, um, kasabayan you actually like from the states of like silent film era yeah. like Charlie mm-hmm. Chaplin and the all Ch- those the Charlie folks. Chaplin time yeah like mm-hmm. these are silent films that my great grandfather made mm-hmm. and it's just like I say so in the Philippines we didn't we didn't have the resources yet as a um, country to preserve these films mm-hmm. yeah but like in America talaga like it's gold for them mm-hmm. like they they conserve yeah. every film yeah, especially in Europe as well mm-hmm. where it's in the Philippines medyo na nakakalimutan na yeah but like my tito rap si yeah. mama lorna lt um mm-hmm. just like they're also ha- trying to help conserve our you know history yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and the, and that's the arts you know mm-hmm. so that's like where we all came from mm-hmm. na parang like if without these um, pioneers of the industry of storytelling, mm-hmm. directing films from Hollywood back in the 1920s, pa, yeah. with my great um, grandpa Gregorio, mm-hmm. yeah. like we wouldn't be where we are right uh, now. That's a really yeah. good material yeah. for you to tell mm-hmm. the story of, yeah. yeah, because it's really mm-hmm. it's familiar, it's mm-hmm. intimate to you. So mm-hmm. ang sarap siguro ikwento coming oh. from within. At yeah. may hugot kasi family yeah. talaga. Yeah. So mm-hmm. ano, mm-hmm. galeng. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I'm sure you get this a lot. Who do you look like? Lola the boy or Dad Mark? <laughs> <laughs> lahat na po. Lahat na. Kasama na po si Mami doon. Kasama <laughs> 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 na lahat. Kasama na si Mami doon. Pero sobrang kapasit oh, niya si Kuya Mark. Yeah, yeah. 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 when he was yeah. um, calling mm. me from outside, sabi ko, mm. oh my God, I, I thought I was looking at Mark. Uh, yeah, oh, sobrang, yeah. ano. Kasi Hayes, I was telling him, when I was younger, I used to look up to Kuya Mark. That's yeah. why I started yeah. well, show mm-hmm. business. Aside from being exposed to it because of Tita Ness. Because uh-huh. I grew up here, mm. like during my childhood, mm. then moved back to the Philippines in the 90s. And of course, si Kuya Mark at the time, yung pa yung mga gopings time. And mm-hmm. I used to like love going to taping, mm-hmm. love going to shooting and all that stuff. So like yeah. now, seeing Gray now at uh-huh. this age, I'm like, oh uh-huh. my gosh, mm-hmm. they sound so much alike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. yeah. So, so, mm-hmm. so what else is there for you, Gray? Yeah, um, again, parang like for me, nung lumipat ako sa New York, and again, mm-hmm. studying theater, mm-hmm. studying what acting is about. So Stella Adler is the one who trained the great Marlon Brando. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, see um, all of those people, like all the actors, mm-hmm. Hollywood, Broadway, or even the UK, they, mm-hmm. they look up to like Mr. Brando. I think for yeah. my humble opinion, he's like my favorite and mm-hmm. probably the greatest actor of all time. Mm-hmm. And so... No nag search ako ng like yung at theater school or acting school like one of two parang Juilliard and Stella Adler yeah, yung uh-huh. lumabas so like I applied to Stella Adler for mm-hmm. the personal reason of Mr. Mm-hmm. Brando nga mm-hmm. na dun siya na train mm-hmm. so like oh I just applied sobrang haba ng screening process like three four editions and again you have to yeah it has the same it's not um, enough to just be able to pay to do a show yeah of course no no no, no. <laughs> same ano siya same acceptance rate with Juilliard in New okay. York yeah oh. and yeah, I just um, I'm again like humbly happy and I'm Oh, that was an achievement already, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 
Yeah, just like really going for the bare bones of ano ba talaga yung acting. Because it's, yeah. it's not just like, hindi siya, hindi siya madali. It's like, it's very, it's, deeper than that. it's human, it's, it's being human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, sabi nga ni Mr. Brando na parang, every single individual is an actor. Mm-hmm. Like, every, kahit sino ka paman. Like, mm-hmm. we just play different parts. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everyone has a capability mm-hmm. to be an actor, but mm-hmm. like, professional actors lang talaga yung, like, we have to dissect, like, yeah. psychologists, mm-hmm. Um, what it is to be human, yeah. what it is to act a certain mm-hmm. way, and why do we do that? What's what's our um, imagination mm-hmm. like when we're doing a certain thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay. I have a question for you mm-hmm. because um, Oppenheimer is open now. Yes. Right? It's in cinemas, mm-hmm. and Cillian Murphy really had to he had to miss all the parties, all the drinking mm-hmm. with his mm-hmm. cast members because he has to be like Oppenheimer, so he has to maintain the weight and also the mm-hmm. diet. Of the yeah. character, Mm-mm. so do you see yourself do going that extreme? Um, you immerse yourself so, in that. So, so I for for the last um, final project of the first year of school, I actually did a play called Really, Really. Mm-hmm. So it was um, written by Mr. Calazo, um, directed by my voice and speech teacher Celeste Moratti, mm-hmm. and my character was Cooper, and his his character was this um, star rugby player of this big college in Connecticut I believe and uh, ang ginawa ko talaga like for me like bare bones you really have to be a rugby exactly. player so I just worked out so much okay. and like uh, it, research yeah. research about rugby what what's um a rugby player's mentality what's a college star rugby mentality and you have to live that like mm-hmm. through your body like Mel okay. Gibson I saw a clip of Mel Gibson talking about number one is always you have to be present in your body mm-hmm. And before even thinking about the script or everything, you have to be a person and not thinking thinking in your head. You got to mm-hmm. be the whole head to toe of who mm-hmm. this person mm-hmm. is. You got to live. You know, your dad used to you do gotta that. You got to live that. Yeah. He, did he tell mm-hmm. you that? Like, he used mm-hmm. to, like, really immerse himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sa, ano, siya, sa depressed area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll really, mm-hmm. he'll live it. He'll live it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I believe in mga Arapka, like, he actually yeah. trained mm-hmm. as a yes. professional runner. Yes. Mm-hmm. Na parang like, you really, have to, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Uh-oh. ano siya talaga? Sinapuso niya talaga at Uh-oh. sinabuhay, literally. Mm-hmm. Sinabuhay para yeah. talagang alam na alam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. what I did for my play. Mm-hmm. And you know, like, great actors as, like, Killian Murphy. Talaga, mm-hmm. Like, this is, like, his... Oh, it's I'm, Killian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I learned something new today. <laughs> I've always yeah. thought it's Cillian yeah. because they keep mm-hmm. calling him Silly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Silly because mm-hmm. he's funny. So, yeah. Cillian <laughs> Murphy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, like, um, seguro, because, like, a lot of, like, great ac- actors and artists, parang yung, uh, like, as you said, like mm-hmm. fa- funny see Killian or Cillian because mm-hmm. like we don't take ourselves seriously. If I don't like, we don't care about ourselves. We mm-hmm. care about the craft mm-hmm. and the work yeah. and the art, uh-huh. which is again yeah. the the movie or the story, the the play. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what we care. Like that's what we care about mm-hmm. the most. Talaga, mm-hmm. it's not it's not about us. Mm-hmm. It's true. about what, what are character. we presenting yeah. to the audience, mm-hmm. and why are we doing it? It's just like to teach someone like somewhere. Mm-hmm. about another facet of humanity mm-hmm. of course you've ta- you're mm-hmm. talking about being a storyteller so yeah. that's not just acting what other facets of the entertainment industry are, to, are you interested in about about mm-hmm. and who basically influenced you you think um super damn effort but like right now my favorite modern actor is mr dicaprio leonardo dicaprio mm-hmm. na parang mm-hmm. like He's so intense, and mm-hmm. again, he just like puts in so much of himself when he is preparing for a uh, for role mm-hmm. as as a character. I one of my favorite movies is like The Aviator. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. seen that movie rec- like recommended by my dad to yeah. like study Mr. DiCaprio a little bit as well. But those movies, na parang like you don't see Mr. DiCaprio, you just see Howard Hughes yeah. in the movie. Yeah, that's true. That was um, yeah, like Martin Scorsese, mm-hmm. one of the best mm-hmm. storytellers, directors of all time. Like from from Taxi Driver yeah, of taxi um, driver. Robert De Niro, and Taxi Driver, which was considered like a low budget. Yeah, movie. low budget mo- movie but that then, put him on movie. the map. Oh. Not oh. like and all these great filmmakers like Mr. Francis Ford Coppola, yeah. um, who ma- who makes The Godfather. Oh, and again, yeah. it's like I I read about these stories. Na paano nila ginawa? Like it's not easy. It's like you have to really like invest your life. Talaga na mm-hmm. like before these people make it. Mm-hmm. Sobrang dami talaga pinagdadaanan na parang like you have to like convince so many people like you mm-hmm. know producers, investors, the big yeah. studios na yeah. parang like you got to convince uh-huh. these people to make your movie and mm-hmm. then you make the movie 
na you don't know na parang maganda ba siya hindi until Uh-oh. it's released na. Ba siya, oh, ano? Yeah, Uh-oh. it's really um, and that's baka the, yung yung mm. vision mo ba talagang na translate mm. mo into what you were you're yeah. able to react. Yeah, but it's 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 that. crazy na parang like you have to ano talaga like it's it's a gamble na like you have to give everything of you yourself mm-hmm. into your art and just you don't even know if it's gonna work out. Pero like because you care about it na parang ako din like I care about it so much. Now, like I'll do everything to to make a story presentable, presentable. for an audience mm-hmm. for for everyone as a community. Na kailangan mm-hmm. malaman, kailangan yeah. like this is gonna make us as people, mm-hmm. not just Filipinos, not just Americans or whatever. It's just us as human mm-hmm. beings. Okay. Um, like Parasite. Parasite's Parasite. a Korean film. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Pero like it's a human story. Yes. It's anyone from the world. No matter who you are, mm-hmm. no matter what background, what circumstance, you're gonna mm-hmm. watch that film. You're yeah. gonna take away yes. so much. It's so amazing mm-hmm. how they were able to make like mm-hmm. a parallelism and yet a distinct yeah. um, difference between the mm-hmm. the rich and the poor of Korea, yeah. de ba? Because it's about mm-hmm. ultimately tungkol siya sa utang. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Si Parasite na movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pero ang ganda ng pagkakagawa. Yeah, yeah, and it's not amazing. specific. It's just again a human story. Mm-hmm. Na parang like. Anyone that can watch yeah. it and like, oh, oh my God, I learned so much, so oh, much. Yeah. Like, ito pala yung, this is what life is about. Oh, oh. That's great. Yeah, so and that's. So, what's uh, gonna happen after acting school? Do you see yourself mm-hmm. going, going back, back to, to the Manila Philippines? I know you don't mm-hmm. plan forward, mm-hmm. but yeah. um, somehow, what do you think? Right now, actually, like, so, like, my um, second semester, my second year of training and schooling is coming up, and just focusing on that. But you know, like, from now, just like my journey of self discovery, okay. and I found like I yeah. wanna. Again, write, mm-hmm. write mm-hmm. something, direct something. At sabi nga nila James Cameron at nila Martin Scorsese, it's like it doesn't need to be big budget. Just like, lalo na sabi ni Mr. Coppola, if you check his Instagram, like you could use your t- iPhone, that's shoot true. it. Yeah, oh, you use your iPhone, true. shoot yeah. something. It's just, that's it's already a, a movie. Yeah. That's already a movie. Ooh, just write wow. something, and it's, it has to be always personal. Mm-hmm. Like, what story yeah. do you have to tell to any audience? It doesn't mm-hmm. need to be, um, um. The whole world to see mm-hmm. it just needs to be um art that you can present to your mm-hmm. friends or loved ones and you yeah. already teach someone and that's just the experience and why we do what we do mm-hmm. yeah and um oh, from the back age but yeah that like it mag click shot or what mm. you parang you just want to make it for mm. you know like you said family mm. or close friends and for yourself yeah. Yeah. and for yourself mm. yung pa yun yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. and great aside from acting though mm-hmm. you also sing yeah diba? a little bit, little bit. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. 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 Ko, ako dancing lang talaga oh, ako dancing Pero, ano, you should uh, you yeah. should check out the Instagram yeah. of Ray because he mm-hmm. sings really good. Sing. Ano really song good. mo? Tell them about huh? your song. Oh yeah, song so niya ni Jack so me, other me and my cousin Jarek in Cebu actually mm-hmm. nagproduce kami like I wrote the song. It's called Queen of Queens. I didn't it's, know you wrote it. Yeah, I wrote I the song. Wrote he produced song. the music. He's an amazing yeah. mu- music producer. Nga. New York City was our you say now. Uh, we just released it. No, non-profit. I just like, again, like when I make something, it's just like for the art itself. Not yeah. like, oh, I made something. It's like, this is my baby. You know, mm-hmm. this is like the songs. Um, and I'm very proud of it. Um, and again, very thankful to him. Uh, like without him, you shouldn't go up. It's mm-hmm. called Queen of Queens, all mm-hmm. available on all the music platforms. Nice. It's like a single. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, my first song, of hopefully a lot of songs mm-hmm. as well. Nice, mm-hmm. check that out, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And shout mm-hmm. out to my um, my nephew also, Jerick mm-hmm. Cervantes from Cebu. And yeah. Jen. And Jen, Jen, Hi. of course. Hi, Hello. Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw because Kanina Kay Gray when I first saw him, I opened the door. Go. Why are you wearing jacket in um, mm. San Francisco right now? And he has a story. I want yeah. to No, it's just um <laughs> actually dito po sa Bay, medyo mas malamig. Yeah, yeah, yeah sa Bay uh-huh. area, and mm-hmm. um yeah, just like. I'm a big fan of Levi's then, so mm-hmm. parang like um, Levi's was from San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I just want to represent yes. the North California, the oh, Bay Area. I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you been like? Did you have any parang struggles when you first moved? Oh like, yeah. Like new adjustment. For sure. Mo? Tell us mm-hmm. about that. I like, think siguro like two months. Like after two months, pa ako like just comfortable being in New York City. Mm-hmm. It's very, it's again, it's a different universe. Literally, on the other side of the Philippines, like yeah. New York to the mm-hmm. Philippines, is a twelve-hour um, time gap. So, mm-hmm. parang everything's so fast, or everyone is just like focused, and no, nobody like 
wants to talk. It's like very, very yes, quick pace. Very even quick from like, even from the West Coast, even from California, mm -hmm. it's in America. But like California and New York, so different cultures. Oh yeah. The Northeast mm -hmm. and Southern California, or like even Northern California, magkaibang magkaibang culture. But I don't, let's say you can compare it to someone from Manila, mm -hmm. from somewhere down in Mindanao. But I'm gonna like it's a different. Mm -hmm. It's in the same country, but different ideas. Different beliefs, yeah. and seguro to two months. Totally different vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two months na, uh, just like struggling of like getting around the subways yeah. and like getting lost every time. Yeah, uh -huh. and just how to operate. And again, it's like I think everyone in like New York, that I guess, is like more of like they're focused on themselves, and mm -hmm. you just gotta let everyone have their own space mm -hmm. and um, be respect. Again, right side them, like just be, be super respectful, respectful to mm -hmm. everyone of and from anywhere, and and. and that's my advice for anyone really like um wherever you go wherever you meet just be the most genuinely respectful person mm -hmm. and again they'll just like treat you the same way i believe mm -hmm. in that's my true. experience yeah. in Indiana, like you just have to be like and uh, adjust with um the culture yeah. around you you can't impose, impose your, your own, own will own yeah. mm -hmm. was there impose. was there ever a yeah. time that you're like oh did i did i do the like did you ever second guess yourself or no you're no like, I'm in because it, like, i'm in it i'm in it i'm in it to, because again like mm -hmm. of why i'm doing it because mm -hmm. like this is like my goal mm -hmm. for my personal goal now nah, like i'm it's hard it's super hard but you always see the why you're doing it mm -hmm. and i'm just like this is like my, my mm -hmm. journey of like again working on my craft mm -hmm. yeah. learning so much thing new things mm -hmm. and meeting so many people that have helped me so much mm -hmm. because of again their differences from mm -hmm. me that's and it's true. learning from them and you mm -hmm. again like everyone can learn anything yeah that's from true. everyone that's else true. speaking yeah. of meeting new people mm -hmm. i remember you have this uh, beautiful encounter with the eli Roth. yeah i was in at water village just randomly and there was a bookstore there that just walk in and mr <laughs> eli roth mm -hmm. walks in eli roth of um the hostel yeah. movies yeah. written and directed um, he was the bear Jew in Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious mm -hmm. Bastards. And I just walk up to him and I tell him very, again, as respectful as you can possibly be, just say, well, Mr. Roth, I'm Gray. Um, I'm a young actor. What's mm -hmm. your piece of advice to a young actor? He just said, of course, like, just like keep at it. Mm -hmm. And um, we were talking about films as well. And he told me, like, just keep at it, never give up. And if you truly love it, you'll get mm -hmm. it. And I truly love it, and hopefully I will, mm -hmm. by the grace of God, and mm -hmm. just like by the world. And he told me the last one before I was leaving. He he um said a, a very important thing to me as well, where it's like, um also like um write something. That's what's going to separate you and your story, because mm -hmm. you're again you you're such a different individual, mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. a different background from whatever America has seen before. Mm -hmm. That if you write something personal, and the world has never seen before because it's you mm -hmm. and the world hasn't seen you yet you know that might be your ticket to uh to success and again he told me something like you know tarantino he told, i asked him who's your influence he, he told me like oh put in tarantino, tarantino yeah. easy mm -hmm. yeah. and again it's not easy like if you look at mr tarantino's journey like like he he was like a video store manager for mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. but he like loved cinema love film right. love stories yeah. he wrote uh, Reservoir Dogs, and that's yeah. how we became mm -hmm. Quentin Tarantino. And I think, again, it's like the biggest piece of advice from Mr. Roth is just write something about mm -hmm. who you yeah. are and what mm -hmm. your experience mm -hmm. is. Never lie in your art, especially. Yeah, no. That's what artists never are. Have. Like, mm -hmm. um, like we present a mirror to society. That's mm -hmm. what our job is. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm all from painters to musicians, from writers, Shakespeare, Picasso. It's just like again a mirror to society what's what is life and what can we present to the average uh, yeah. um individual uh, something another aspect that they'll teach mm. an individual mm. about it okay mm -hmm. okay great right. i'm sure the your mm. fans in the philippines are also asking yeah. how are you now um give, uh, if they're watching you right mm, now message yeah. to the Tell fans something. yeah um i just gusto ko lang magpasalamat talaga na but like I can see your support on the internet, the, like Instagram, all the platforms, and I know you guys. I love you guys, number one, of course. And again, I'm just super thankful since like I was a little boy, at 12 years old, with um, ABS and Gimme Five, and now as an actor, apparently you guys have been there throughout my journey. 
um lahat talaga na you guys have never like um left my side nandiyan pa rin kayo kahit malayo ako at uh, gusto ko lang pasalamat din sa lahat ng um I've worked with in the past with like ABS, CBN, all the actors, actresses, mm. producers, um writers, everyone in the industry na nakatrabaho ko sa Pilipinas, lahat ng fans ko My family, of course, my dad, my mom, um, all the fans, all the actresses I've worked with. Mahal na mahal ko po ang Pilipinas. At uh, again, like, wala po ako dito kung wala po ang Pilipinas. And that's where, I, that's my bread and butter. Yun po ang pamilya ko, ang Pilipinas. Yeah. At uh, namimiss ko na rin po kayo. At uh, andito po ako para, yun nga, to represent our country, represent, represent yeah. our people. To, kung sa, kahit sa, Pil- mm-hmm. if, even kung babalik man ako or... stay just to make stuff uh-huh. here in the states uh-huh. i'm doing it for you guys uh dahil mahal na mahal ko. like okay. our culture yes. our stories you know our stories mm. and ang uh, mga kababayan natin mga pilipino at uh, lahat ng uh, lahat ng mga tao sa mundo yeah okay we'd also mm. like to thank um the host of our mm. set for today Uh, my cousins, Kuya Arnold and mm. Ate Mona for me. Thank you, thank yes, you for thank you. hosting us. Thank you for mm. feeding us the and welcoming lunch. us into mm. your home. Again, great. Thank you so mm. much. Thank you. thank you for making yeah. time for um, uh, for us. Mm-hmm. And I'm so proud yeah. of you. And I can't wait to see like um, the movies or the scripts that you're going to mm-hmm. write in the future. Mm-hmm. So, okay. But we'll be hanging out yeah. again yeah. soon. Definitely. Um, yeah. yeah, and Gray Fernandez, guys. Here's mm-hmm. our little trivia. Mm-hmm. Gray came, comes from... It's Elvis Presley inspired. Tell them about it. Ikaw na lang name. The gray What name. Where oh, your name? actually, so my, my first name po, like, uh, mali siya sa Wikipedia, pero ah. first name ko po talaga sa birth certificate is Grace Cameron Garcia Fernandez. So, my first name is Grace. Grace Fernandez. So, um, naging Grace siya. So, take out the C-G-R-A-E. Mm-hmm. So, Gray Fernandez. Mm-hmm. Pero like, again, I think my dad... told me a story na parang like he was a big fan of Elvis like Graceland and again God's yeah. grace yes. in the Bible as God's well. grace yeah because a lot of people don't know but in the Bible it's not a woman's name or a man's name it's yeah. just like Lord the yeah. Lord's grace yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. if you yeah. read the Bible yeah uh-uh. mm-hmm. so great thank you for yeah. gracing us with your presence no, thank you guys <laughs> thank you guys really direct thank you very much yeah. uh, yes good Samaritan's mm-hmm. time with Gray mm-hmm. dito po sa Antioch, California yeah. and He's gonna uh, fly back to mm-hmm. New York to continue his craft. Yeah. Yes. So, so bye bye mm-hmm. natin si Gray. And mm-hmm. again, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification button, and don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts, Mabuhay Studios and The Wonder Mamas, on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any um, Filipino stories or meron kayo mga gustong Um, you suggest or promote the businesses, please make sure you contact us in the numbers below or email us. Yes, we would Bye. love to tell your story, guys. Ang kwento nyo ay kwento namin. Yes. So this has been another episode of Mabuhay Studios Presents The Wandering Pinoy where we talk about everything that we are proud of as yes. Filipinos. We mm-hmm. champion and the triumph of the Filipino spirit anywhere mm-hmm. in the world. Yes, because so, your story is it's our, our story. story. Ang kwento nyo ay kwento namin. Thank you. Thank you. Mabuhay Studios is a media partner for the Arnel Pineda and Lani Masalucha U.S. Casino Tour. For tickets, please contact Ticketmaster.com or FantasySpringResort.com.